So the next song on Modern Ruin is a song called Vampires. And um, it's entirely about my, my place um, in music and, and how um, difficult that can be for my friends and my family and my loved ones. Um, most notably, um, it can be quite hard. It can put a real strain on your relationships. Um, I wrote this song at four in the morning um, after my wife had called me an egomaniac. And I don't know if she's gonna be upset that I've told you that now, but it's the truth and it's important to say because, um, you know, often than not, when you're a creative person, when you're an artist, you're an entirely selfish person and you only really think about um, you know, your, your own goals because um, when you stop trying to um, pursue that, you become um, incredibly miserable and depressed. Um, and there's a really fine balance because you know, obviously like, as you go through life, there are certain milestones you want to suddenly get married and you want to become a father and you want to have a house and you want to do all of the things that um, most well-adjusted people in society start doing. And you do those things and then you realize that you're still in, 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 your, in your heart and your soul, you're still a very selfish um, creative who's only really concerned about what's in his mind and getting it out. And that was equally difficult for my, for my partner because she's an incredibly talented creative as well. She's a better singer than me. She's a better artist and a better tattooer. So um, I think this song was about one of those moments where she just brought me crashing down to earth in um, the most real of ways. Um, and it made me feel, um, at the time, it, it, you know, I wrote this whole song kind of from her perspective. Um, sort of saying, I, I really don't want to be trapped here. I, I've got my own life to lead. And that made me feel um, like I needed to do more for her, like I wasn't doing enough. And it made me feel very much like, that put me in check with how I'd been with my whole family. You know, what, what was I, I've been so consumed about what was right for me um, that I had completely forgotten. I'd lost touch with the reality of things. And, and, um, it threw me back into my body with a stark jolt that made me wake up and, and it made me begin to start putting people before me um, the best I could. You know, I have, I have a, a difficult job in the fact that my work kind of, we go on tour and that is kind of in the calendar and it can't really be moved. Now I'm being much more, um, I hope, Sarah, <laughs> that I'm being a lot more balanced outside of that. And there's like, um, you know, I'm trying to do the best I can for everybody in the situation because everybody has hopes and dreams and, and you can't just, um, yours are not bigger than anybody else's. You know, I have dreams for my daughter, I have dreams for my wife as well. And I want them to succeed in, in the greatest ways that they can, the same way that I am, but there's a balance. and. That's again, you know, it, it comes back to what we're doing with this record. The record is about balance, it's about finding your place. I think I've been looking for answers my whole life and um, only now am I beginning to understand the questions. <laughs> so it's, um, it's taken me a long time, 32, and uh, finally, finally getting to grips with it.